Hello and welcome to the Bleach Bray Assault Awards for the year 2021. I'm your host, the Best of Sparta, and today we have a jam-packed award show filled to the brim across many different awards spanning from the best character of the year, the worst character of the year, most anticipated character for the year 2022. We have a lot of awards and I hope you guys do enjoy the show this year. And hopefully I can continue to host the next award shows in the years to come. Because you might be wondering, where was the award show last year? Well, unfortunately, Aizen is to blame for that. Aizen wasn't too happy with the results last year and decided to trash up the place so we didn't have a venue to host the 2020 award show for Bleach Brave Souls but this year was a great year for Aizen so I don't think we're gonna have that many problems for this show. But enough chit chat I'm sure you're all very eager to find out who are actually the winners of the 17 awards that we do have lined up for tonight's show and there's no better option to start off the award show other than the best premium character. In the year 2021 we received many great and powerful premium characters especially with the introduction of arena characters that really skyrocketed what a premium character can be and these six nominations are by far the best examples of the most powerful premium characters in the game especially for the year 2021 so with that said here are your six nominees for the best premium character And the Bleach Brace Award for Best Premium Character goes to... Yodoichi and Siphon, the Redux version. It's no surprise that they obviously took the cake for this one. Two characters in one. Yodoichi and Siphon with a very powerful set of skills and good strike attacks clearly makes them one of the best premium characters of the year. And despite being held back for the fact that they are a premium mid-month character, they are still showing how powerful a premium mid-month character can be, especially in the case of Yodoichi and Siphon, a two-in-one waifu combo. So there you go. That is the winner for the best premium character. And now to continue on with the next award, we have the Bleach Brace Award for the best limited character. And while it's true we didn't receive any new Fowls and Yabloda characters this year, we did have a massive selection of very powerful non Fowls and Yabloda characters that definitely kept us occupied throughout the year. And I'm talking about Burn Witch characters and most importantly, the Spirit Arthur with you beyond Bunker characters. The next six nominees are demonstrations of some of the best limited characters that we have received this year. And these six are your nominations for the best limited character of Bleach Brace Souls in the year 2021. And the Bleach Brave Soul Award for the best limited character, to no surprise, is going to Retsu Unohana, the Spirit Arthur Overview version. This character, while coming out right at the end of the year, is demonstrating how far k can push this power creep. Not only does this character have Frenzy plus 2 with an additional 20% Berserker and 20% Full Stam, she also has a very powerful SA3 charge attack that can also heal her entire team by 40%. Alongside that, with Drain and Weakening, nothing will stop this character. She is the definitive best limited character in the game, the best healer in the game, and also the second coming of Murder Month. Which I'm sure for you Retu fans out there, put a smile on your face. And what personally puts a smile on my face is a very well animated soul bomb, especially ones that are fun to watch. And this next Bleach Brave Soul World is going to go to the best soul bomb of the year. And in Bleach Brave Souls, one of the main selling points to characters is the soul bomb animation. Despite us skipping it most of the time, we all definitely appreciate a very well animated soul bomb. And soul bomb animations have been the prime example of showing the progression of the game when it comes to Bleach Brave Souls in terms of the animation department, because every year, Caleb always outdo themselves. And this year is a prime example 
example of that. We have soul bombs ranging from Retu just sitting down to Aizen holding the entire world in the palm of his hands. And with that, these are your six nominations for the best soul bomb animation. <laughs> And the Bleach Brave Star Award for Best Sobom Animation goes to... 6th Anniversary Aizen for having one of, if not the best Sobom animations in the game. Using this special just makes you feel powerful. Having Aizen break down the reality and having everything in the palm of his hands, it really makes you feel like you are using the most powerful character in fiction. And whether you like this character or not, I think we can all agree that the Sobom animation that this Aizen has is by far one of, if not the best in Bleach Brave Souls. But for our next award, we will not be looking at a character that came out in 2021. Instead, we are looking at the best character to receive a resurrection in the year 2021. And while it is unfortunate that we did receive less resurrections this year, we almost made up for it with very powerful resurrections. And this year is a very good demonstration of that. Because these six nominees voted by you guys once more are some of, if not the best resurrected characters in the game. Characters that, thanks to this small little upgrade that they might have received, are now very much viable and some of if not the better characters in the game. And to prove that, today we have the six nominees for the Bleach Brace Award of Best Resurrection. <laughs> And the Bleach Brace Soul Award for Best Resurrection of 2021 goes to... TLA Technique Soifon. This is a character that was one of the best characters at the time of her release. And even without the resurrection, people were still using her. So you know, with a small little bug to her strong attack damage, that was enough to get her as one of the better characters in the game. She holds up even in today's meta and is someone that you can definitely use, especially thanks to this resurrection. And I do want to take out time to, you know, congratulate the other nominees for Best Resurrection as this battle was a very, very close battle as Soifon won this award by two votes. And speaking of two... I actually have no idea where I was going with this. But for our next award, we have the Bleach Brace Award for Best Artwork. And in 2021, we received very very good artwork from the talented team over at KLab, really highlighting and demonstrating a clear understanding of Kubo's design while also playing homage to the Bleach Brave Souls anime style. These six nominees are clear examples of some of the best artwork in Bleach Brave Souls. So without further ado, here are your six nominees for the best artwork in Bleach Brave Souls. <laughs> So if you don't know, we put six characters here to try and get a good range and diversity of characters, but funny enough, we still ended up with the same three faces, Ichigo, Retsu, and Aizen. But I said, the Bleach Brace Award for Best Artwork of 2021 goes to... 
Spirit Society White Ichigo. This one came at a massive surprise and I'm very happy with the outcome since he deserves it. White Ichigo is one of the few characters that is easy to look so, so cool. And especially a design like this with the Spirit Society version, the posing, the detail on the character design is beautiful. And it really highlights how menacing and cool White Ichigo can look in other designs. And with this right here, the artwork is absolutely stunning. And that is why... White Ichigo, the Spirit Society version, has won the Bleach Press Award for Best Artwork. And of course, to go alongside that, we also now have the award for Best Character Design. Not to be confused with Best Artwork, because you can have a very cool and well thought out design, but have mediocre art. In this case, we have the six nominees for some of the best designs in Bleach Brave Souls, and of course, because of that, they are all unique characters to Bleach Brave Souls, which is definitely one of the best things about the game, since K-Lab definitely don't hold back. The designs, sometimes supervised by Kubo himself, are clear examples of how far Bleach Brave Souls can go as a mobile game, considering that we can never basically run out of content. As long as K-Lab keep putting up these excellent designs were definitely going to stay interested. So here are your six nominees for best character design. And the Bleach Brave Soul Award for Best Character Design goes to... 6th Anniversary Aizen for being the absolute unit he actually is. And while 6th Anniversary Aizen Soul Bomb also looks immaculate, both Caleb and Kubo did a very, very amazing job when it comes to the 6th Anniversary Aizen, highlighting how far a character can go when fused with the whole queue. And again, once more, this character definitely did live up to the expectation. And it was a pretty high expectation, might I add. And speaking of expectations, these next characters had too high of an expectation. And the moment they came out, people realized, you know what? Maybe this character isn't all that. Maybe they are a tad bit overrated and definitely not worth the hype. And between me and you, just before you know, before you see the nominees and potentially have a heart attack, I believe people just voted for whatever character was hyped up. And that is why certain characters that aren't remotely overrated in the slightest are now potentially a nominee. There weren't that many overrated characters this year, but with that said, here are your six nominees for the most overrated character of the year. Mother. And the Bleach Brace Soul Award for most overrated character goes to... Spirit Society Ichigo. This is a character that on paper looked absolutely amazing. His strong attacks weren't that bad. But in gameplay, yeah, he's a tad bit overrated. He's an alright character to say the least. And while some might say he's underrated because... Spoiler alert, he does also appear in the underrated nomination list. A lot of people would think that this character... As an Ichigo, with Frenzy Plus 2, with 2 stars on it, should have been significantly better. And I definitely do agree. While this character is good, he's definitely a tad bit overrated. And if a character is overrated, then surely there are other characters that are underrated. Characters that don't get enough appreciation from the community. And these six nominees are characters that are good, some better than others, don't get that enough love. Maybe it's due to the fact that it's an unpopular character. Maybe due to the fact that the character just isn't really pullable yet because they're still new. There are many reasons why a character can be underrated and these six nominees highlight what actually is an underrated character in the year 2021. And we have a prime example of that considering that one of the characters here also appeared as a nominee for the worst character of the year. So without further ado, here are your six nominees for the most underrated character of the year. 
And the Bleach Bray Soul Award for the most underrated character of the year goes to Kugo Ginjo, the Can't Feel Your Own World Truce version. This one is a pretty big surprise, and I know a lot of people would say, maybe he's not underrated. It really depends on who you ask. Kugo is a very powerful Nad character, especially considering the fact that he does have Flurry, Follow-Up, and also Guard Break. It makes him one of the best power characters in the game. However, I can definitely agree to a certain extent is that there isn't that many people talking about him, especially when compared to someone like Misaki, Tokinada, uh, Kisuke, and also Jushiro. Jushiro obviously being a significantly better character of those that I just listed. Kugo is definitely someone that doesn't get enough love, and it might be due to the fact that it's a Kugo, but he is getting the spotlight today as he has now received the award for most underrated character of the year. And for our next award, we have the most fun to play character. <laughs> バッドスピリッツに抗ったハートを振るかつスピリチュアルなストーリーを言うたちに届ける時がやってきた私のブレイブが言うたちのソウルに響くことを願っているぞ危機に陥った時人生に迷った時遠慮なく私の名を呼ん
So the Bleach Brave Soul Award for the worst character of the year goes to... Zyodopolo, the Fierce Battle version. One of the first characters to come out in 2021. And we did actually make a video talking about how bad Zyodopolo is. And he's probably going to keep that title for the end of 2021. And as you can see here, it held up. This character is just quite mediocre. Bad SA1, bad SA2, no recharge, and quite frankly, his only usage right now is to farm crystals, which you don't even need him for. There was also a very close follow-up, that being the, st <laughs> the Huecomundo Stark, who is also quite bad, but at the very least, he has the usage of being able to farm droplets, which are significantly more rare compared to crystal characters, and that's probably why Zyapolo has now took the title as the worst character of the year. So for you Zyapolo fans out there, my condolences. You'll get a good character one day. At least you have a character. I'm still waiting for a new Adin Yoro. But maybe I don't want one if he ends up being like Zyapolo. But he could also end up being one of the better characters of the year. And that is what our next award is here. For our final character award of the evening, we have the best character award for Bleach Brave Souls in 2021. The six best characters competing for the title of the best character. Who's going to win it? You're about to find out. Here are your six nominees for the best character in Bleach Brave Souls for the year 2021. And the Bleach Brave Soul Award for the best character of the year goes to. Let's actually have him introduce himself. Six Anniversary Eisen. Who is surprised? This character won by a massive margin, and while it's true that there are some good characters this year, you know, mainly speaking, Kisuke, the Spirit Star for Ui Virgin, the Retu that also released at the end of the year, Artwork Ichigo, Nini, and Bruno are very powerful characters in their own right. None of them compare to the overwhelming power that is Six Anniversary Aizen. And as you can see throughout the award show already, Aizen has taken a few trophies from, and it's a complete 180 of the award show that we did two years ago because Aizen finally got what he deserved. A very powerful character making up for the six years of bad treatment. In one character we have Six Anniversary Aizen, the character that transcends everything, the definitive best character in the game, and it's going to be scary when they eventually top that. And they will top it, potentially on the 8th anniversary. So tune back next year to find out who is going to be the best character of the year. That said, though, we are not done the awards just yet. Because our next award is going to go to the best banner of the year. And while it's true, k did a lot of different things on banners this year. Changing the rates, changing the characters that we get per banner. There were some very, very good banners this year. And these six nominees are banners that you probably spent all your orbs on. And hopefully walked away happy with. So without further ado, here are your six nominees for the best banner of the year.
And the Bleach Brave Soul Award for Best Banner of 2021 goes to... The Pulse Election 2021 Step Up Summons. Who is surprised? Of course this one. We literally voted for the character that appeared in this banner, and once more, we have voted it as the best banner of the year. There was no bad character in this. While the Step Up formula could have been better, getting a 5 star on this banner just meant that you were guaranteed to get a useful and good character. There was no bad characters in this, and it also featured both the 6 anniversary Aizen and Artwork Ichigo, who were never featured on a banner beforehand. Aizen, in that case, it also never returned before, and so this was just a very good banner and one of the best baits before the end of year banner. It's one of the best value banners every single year, and this year it still kept up with tradition as being the best banner of the year. And just like anything in this game, when we get good things, we can also get bad things because this year we also had a fair share of very very bad banners. But luckily though, most of them were so bad that you didn't even summon on them. So in a case, it was actually good for us because we saved our orbs. So these six nominees are prime examples of banners you just, you just don't summon on. And the Bleach Bray Soul Award for the worst banner of the year goes to the Waco Mundo Summoned Rampage banner featuring the newly released Barragun and Stark in their base forms. And it's very unfortunate with the way this banner turned out because it was leaked beforehand. The hype was there for these two particular characters, but coming right off the anniversary, the expectations were higher and Caleb didn't follow through. Instead, they released a two-character banner with really uninspired visuals. The characters themselves were just mediocre, and Stark was nominated as one of the worst characters of the year. They didn't know what they were doing with Stark. He has no place outside of Senkabon, and even then, you don't even need him in Senkabon. This banner overall just had almost no value to summon on, and that is why it has easily taken the award for the worst banner of the year. And in 2021, we received a lot of pretty game-changing updates that can range from new updates to certain game modes, making them actually fun and enjoyable, to new game modes entirely, which completely changed the way we even look at particular characters. This year was a massive year for new features in Bleach Brave Souls. And this next award will highlight that, showcasing some of the best things that Caleb have done throughout the year and will hopefully continue to do in the year 2022. So no more stalling. Without further ado, here are your five nominees for the best features added in Bleach Brave Souls. And the Bleach Brace Star Award for Best Feature Added in 2021 goes to the Epic Raid Revamp. This update to Epic Raids basically made the game mode fun and playable. Epic Raids before 2021 was a grind fest to the point that it was unrealistic to even think you would max out the entire shop. And at certain points, you only did it for the Transcendence material slash orbs and then just backed out and just played other parts of the game. This was an update that needed to happen. It changed a massive, grindy, boring mess of a game mode to something that is fun, enjoyable, and you can finish it in the course of an hour or two. This is something that more updates need to follow. Instead of making particular game modes worse, they fixed most of the problems this game mode had and made it fun, brought back old players, introduced new players, and made us players more happy to play this game. But what didn't make us happy to play this game was some of the worst things Caleb had done in the year 2021. Because our next award is to highlight some of the worst features added in Bleach Brave Souls. And, you know, we had some good ones. We also had a lot of bad features added. To the point that it makes you question, why? Why did Caleb do this? And here are your six nominees 
for the worst features added in 2021. No! And the Blaze Bray Soul Award for worst feature added goes to the other 1.5% pull rate. This change in the early months of 2021 just made absolutely no sense. And it was made worse with the fact that we started to then get one and two character banners. Because the other 1.5% pull rate just meant that it will a lot of the time would just bait you into thinking you're about to get something good as when you do finally get that beautiful five star lion and you are then greeted with a character that came out five years ago it definitely does kill all excitement you had when pulling a five star and that is something this game shouldn't be having six years into the game's lifespan and unfortunately it doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon however that doesn't mean the future for bleach brave souls is all gloom and doom because our next award is to highlight what we could potentially get in the year 2022 do keep in mind, though, some of these nominees are not confirmed to even happen, but they're more so just what we want to see in the year 2022. So our next award is the most anticipated update, what we want to see in the year 2022, and here are your six nominees. And the Bleach Bray Soul Award for most anticipated update goes to a summon pity system. Of course, orbs in this game are rare, especially if you are a free-to-play player. And when you have no guarantee, it makes you question even playing the game, even summoning or even spending money on this game. K-Lab, for some reason, have refused to put in a pity system. And one day, hopefully this year, we can please finally get that long-awaited pity system. Even if it's a bad one, it's better than not having one. Because at the end of the day, this game is all about pulling your favorite characters, and if you don't pull your favorite character, then you might not even play the game anymore. And that is not what we want to see. We want to see our community grow, not shrink. And unfortunately, with a lack of a pity system, sometimes it's not enough to keep people playing the game. However, what is enough to keep people playing the game is the anticipation of one of their favorite characters coming into Bleach Brave Souls. And for our final award for tonight, we have the most anticipated character award. Whether we have a confirmed character come into the game like the fellow Beyond Bankai Captains or some really hopeful characters like future manga characters that will eventually make their way into Bleach Brave Souls, these are the top six most nominated characters for the most anticipated character to arrive potentially in the year 2022. And our final award, the Bleach Bracer Award for the most anticipated character of the year goes to... 
Soya Azashiro, the eighth Kenpachi. This is the main antagonist and the big baddie of the Spirit Arthur Air With You novel. And while it's true that we've had four novel banners already, that being the Spirit Arthur Air With You banners, we have yet to actually receive any original character from the novel. And that has slowly but surely built up this anticipation, excitement, for the characters, that is Soya Azashiro, the eighth Kenpachi. And when he finally does arrive into the game, hopefully sometime in 2022, you know he's going to be an amazing character and we're all going to be excited to potentially get our hands on the eighth Kenpachi in Bleach Brave Souls. And with that said, that was the Bleach Brave Soul Awards for the year 2021. I had a massive fun time hosting the award show for tonight. I really hope you guys did enjoy the work that I and my team put in. And I want to take a massive appreciation to everyone that is watching this video to the end. And also took part in the award show itself by actually voting for these nominees. This video was all possible because of you guys. So I very much do appreciate it. 2022 has just started and it already looks like an amazing year for both Bleach Brave Souls and the Bleach IP itself. We have the anime in less than 10 months time and with that there's gonna be a new crowd of bleach fans a new crowd of bleach brave souls players new characters to get into the bleach brave souls game and potentially even more bleach games in the future which is something i think a lot of us are going to be excited for so that said that was the award show for today hope you guys did enjoy it take care have a good day and i'll see you guys next year for the bleach brave Souls awards for 2022